Hey guys, so I want to talk about something that I noticed with colorism channels, or not even colorism channels. At this point, we're black women who have been brainwashed by colorism content, and I'm not saying that colorism is not real, but what I'm saying is I think that they're taking it to an extreme, to the point where whenever they see a couple, the only thing that they think about in their head is the person's skin tones and the difference in skin tones. For example, a lot of them will always point out how the man is always going to be darker, the woman's always going to be lighter, and I just want to offer a different perspective, such as, well, what if he just happened to fall for her because she has a good personality, or maybe she's really pretty, or maybe, you know, like, not everything is about skin tone. Just because your reality has been brainwashed to make everything about a skin tone, not everyone operates from that perspective. And that is another reason why I cannot stand colorism content. It points out insecurities in a black woman that she probably never even thought about before. I know that was the case for me, even though I never consume content like that. Like the way I am today, how blunt I am, I've always been like that. You can't easily just brainwash me. Like I've been seeing right through that content. I don't like to watch content that constantly makes me feel like an underdog and makes me feel bad about myself, especially when that was not my reality at all. So that might be your reality. Speak from your perspective as an unattractive, dark-skinned woman, but for us attractive, chocolate girls that's not our reality but yeah that's just something that i noticed is that whenever there is a black couple all they think about is the skin tone and it doesn't even matter she doesn't even have to be light skin if she's lighter than him it triggers them i guess what inspired me to talk about this was just analyzing my own life and my own dating patterns and i noticed that usually i was the lighter one compared to my partner I'm not light skinned, but I was lighter than my partner. And then I'm like, dang, so these channels would look at the great relationships that I've had with these people and just reduce it down to a skin tone? Like, that's weird to me. It's strange. And that's ultimately what inspired me to bring up this topic because I know for a fact that's not why we were dating each other. It was other factors like who I am, my personality, appearance so yeah so not everybody chooses their partners based on a skin tone i'm not gaslighting you some people do have their preference there are some ignorant people that will date a person specifically on race i mean we see this with the divestment community for most people that's not how they're choosing their partners be mindful when you over consume colorism content because your perception is your reality and you're constantly feeding that negative insecurity in your brain to the point where that's all you can see in every scenario is a skin tone i think it was a saying that said if you keep thinking about a yellow car all you're gonna see is a yellow car so if i were you and you are a black woman i would urgently tell you to unsubscribe from that content and go watch my video where i broke down how a lot of times it's not your skin tone it might be other factors if you're noticing like a bad dating life it's probably not your skin tone because for attractive in shape and black women with good personalities they don't have that same experience so if you're having a bad experience it might be something else that you need to fix and that video is actually one of the first videos on my page and it's titled colorism is not why you're single and then in the thumbnail it says if you're pretty you're pretty check that video out because that video would actually help you not just watching victim content 24 7. that's not doing anything for you but just enhancing and highlighting and bringing up new insecurities for you to hyper focus on there's no solution with that type of content. And I just hate that so many chocolate girls are consuming that. And by the way, like I said in my last video, I like the word chocolate because you can't be so specific when it comes to black women because we are all different shades. So chocolate to me describes it best. But yeah, that's just something that I really noticed. That's actually their whole entire content. It's Look at his partner, she's brown skin, he's dark skin, like who cares? Fix yourself and then you'll realize that it's other reasons why people are attracted to each other 
on a greater scale. So I just feel like with the whole colorism content thing, you had one person, and if you know, you know, I'm not going to name drop, but one person had major insecurities. She got really famous on that platform and shared her insecurities and gave a bunch of black women new insecurities to focus on. And I just, I hate that for y'all so bad. And once again, I'm going to say I am not trying to gaslight their experience. I'm basically telling them to expand their horizon. I think oftentimes with that content is they're focusing on a small percentage of people that might just so happen to do stuff like that. It's just I don't understand the point in that. What is the, where is this getting us? So I can pull up a whole entire category of men that like white girls. I can pull up a whole entire category of men that like dark skin girls. What is it doing to your self-esteem as a dark skin woman when you're only focusing on the groups of men that might just so happen to like a light skin girl and your dark skin? Like ask yourself that. What is that doing for you? Let me give an example. So me, I'm pretty slim, I'm pretty petite. If all I do is focus on I mean, it's kind of hard to break my confidence down, but whatever, we'll we'll give the example. If all I do is focus on women who are BBWs, that eventually will start to make me feel insecure. So my advice is fill your content and your feed with things that uplift you, give you positive motivation, solutions. Don't focus on the groups of men that just might happen to like a light, light skin girls. You can flip that and turn that and apply that to every single scenario. There are groups of men that like dark skin girls, chocolate girls, ebony's, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this video was a lot to digest. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will respond. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.